Hello guys, welcome back to Plain Simple and today this is going to be a quick video, if I can help it. Uh, we're looking at using engine oil as a coolant um, to remove heat from, from the engine, as a cooling fluid for the engine. In the case of uh, jet engines, you have bearings in two or three different places of the engine to support the rotating mass of the engine. Those bearings but one of them lives here, in the front of the engine, right in there. You have oil being sprayed and pumped in there, and then scavenged down and sucked back out. That oil is actively cooling that bearing. As a, in a, in a water or liquid-cooled engine, like, a, like in a car or a truck, you would have coolant and water flowing, flowing through the engine block, carrying heat away from the engine block and moving it out to the radiator where it expels that heat out to the atmosphere. So it is, the heat is carried through from the engine block to the radiator and then out to the atmosphere. And, and the radiator is basically a, an air to water uh, heat exchanger where it dumps the heat from the coolant out to the atmosphere. In the case of jet engines, where you don't have a radiator and coolant, your cooling fluid is engine oil. Here's your engine oil tank, and the oil goes from there to the bearings, or the pumps and whatever goes to the bearings where it gets hot and it moves, it gets moved away, taking heat away from the bearings. And it is moved, not, in this particular case, it doesn't go through a uh, liquid to air heat exchanger, it goes through a liquid to liquid heat exchanger which is what this guy is over here. This is a liquid to liquid, liquid to liquid cooler. And your cooling fluid here, in this case, is uh, the oil which comes in from the engine. Here is upside down, but it says oil in and oil out. So the oil, hot oil from the engine comes in, comes in gets cooled, and it moves out back to tank. What cools the oil here is uh, fuel, jet, uh, jet fuel. Jet fuel is coming from the wings, from the tanks, where, where it's very cold. So you actually have the means of removing the heat from the oil and passing it on to the fuel. There's no contact between the two fluids. There's no, the, the oil and the, and the jet and the fuel don't ever mix, but they transfer heat from one to the other in a heat exchanger. That's what this is, that's what this cooler is. It transfers heat from engine oil to the fuel. And you get two, the result of that is twofold. You cool the engine oil and you preheat uh, engine fuel before feeding it to the engine. So that is in the case of a jet engine, how you use engine lubricating oil as your, also as your cooling fluid. Your oil that's lubricating the bearings is taking heat away from the bearings and taking it to the oil cooler where it gets cooled and then it goes back to tank. Now we're going to look at the same principle but in a piston engine. Alright, now we're looking at an air-cooled piston engine. Air-cooled because there's no coolant, there's no water jackets flowing around the engine block like, and then flowing the coolant out to the radiator. These are air-cooled uh, air uh, cylinders. These are your cooling fins. But you do, however, have a fluid running all through the engine, and that's your lubricating oil, your engine oil. That oil, obviously, is it's getting pumped through the crankcase up to the, to, to the head and to lubricate the valves and the rocker arms and all the moving parts of the engine. So the engine oil is flowing all throughout the engine. That engine, that, that oil gets hot, gets heated in the uh, engine. Before it goes back to the sump, the oil pan or the oil sump, it runs through an oil cooler. That oil cooler is now an air to liquid uh, cooler where you have hot engine oil flowing in, cool engine oil flowing out back to the sump. And this right here is a mini, a mini radiator. It's a liquid to air heat exchanger where you're transferring the heat from a liquid to the air that's flowing through it as the aircraft is flying. So just the fact that you're cooling the oil before feeding it back to the engine, now the oil, engine oil, becomes your coolant 
and that is your cooling fluid running through the engine. So just like the case of the jet engine where oil is lubricating fluid and cooling fluid, same thing on the piston engine, yeah, it is your lubricant and your coolant at the same time. That's how you're using the one fluid that's flowing through the engine to cool the engine, carrying heat away from the engine and handing it off to another medium, be it fuel in the case of the jet engine, or dumping it off to the atmosphere through that radiator or oil cooler. Okay. Uh, I hope that was simple enough, easy to understand, easy to follow. It's not a hard concept. It's just that we're used to oil being a lubricant, not a coolant. But it actually does both. All right. Like always, I hope it helps. Uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know any questions or suggestions. I always like uh, look forward to hearing from you guys. All right. See you next time. Bye.